Hello everyone on booktube, Sandra here and I'm here with my second October book haul. If you remember the first book haul was back, way back in the first week of October and that was books I bought in Hay on Y. So this is the rest of the books that I bought or well, got this month. So most of these were either extremely cheap, i.e. they were second hand in charity shops or charity book tables. There are a few I bought full price and there are a few that were free as well. So we'll get into those and I'll explain as we go through. So the first book I bought way, way back on the 1st of October and it seems like ages ago now and it's still, you know, it's still this month, just, was A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I've already read this one. It was in the first half of my October wrap up. And as you know, I really, really enjoyed this one. It made me cry. So that was the first one I picked up. The same day as I bought that, I picked up Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. Um, to go with, obviously, the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series, the trilogy. I still haven't read Hollow City, so I'm going to put this in the pile with where I keep my series is, and I'm going to read this after I finished Hollow City, which hopefully will be sometime soon. Can't wait for this. Oh, love it. Um, I, we spent um, a morning, a, a day in Cardiff, a morning at Cardiff Castle, lunch and then just wandered around shops and we popped into Troutmark, which is a second-hand bookshop in one of the arcades in Cardiff and I picked up Doctor Who The Clockwise Men by Justin Richards. So this is a, a Doctor Who story which is obviously not based, it's based on the TV series but this wasn't actually an episode, this is an extra story that took place sometime during um, the Doctor and Rose, uh, the Doctor Christopher Eccleston. So I've not read any of these. These are really cheap at uh, Troutmark, they're about three pounds, so I thought I'd pick this one up. If I like it, then I can go and pick up some more next time I'm in Cardiff, because they're only a few quid each. So I'm looking forward to that. Set in the 20s, we like stuff like that. Another one I picked up in a different Troutmark, this one is in Newport. Um, in fact, I didn't. I think I picked this up somewhere else, but it has got a track what label on it. Um, is The River of Fire by Patrick Easter. London's burning and only one man can put out the fire. So, 1779 and Captain Tom Pascoe of the Marine Police uncovers a grisly secret. The bodies of two men in the cabin of a sunken lugger. Suspicion falls on a third member of the crew seen fleeing the scene. Against the background of a nation at war with Napoleon, Pasco discovers French agents in London who will stop at nothing to undermine England's position. That sounds really interesting. Um, then these ones I think I picked up from the doctor's surgery. As I said, my doctor's surgery has a book table. You make a donation and you can take as many books. I usually donate a pound and take between two or three books. It depends on if there's a lot there or what I want. Um, so this was one of them. This one is Lisa Jewell, The Truth About Melody Brown. It's, you know, considering it's second house, in really good condition. So when she was nine year old, Melody Brown's house burned down, taking every toy, every photograph, every item of clothing, an old Christmas card with it. But not only did the fire destroy all her possessions, it took all her memories too. Melody Brown can remember nothing before her ninth birthday. Now in her early thirties, Melody lives in a small flat in the middle of London with her 17 year old son. She's made a good life for them both and she likes it that way. Until one night, something extraordinary happens. While attending a hypnotist show with her first 18 years, she faints and when she comes around, she starts to remember. At first, her memories mean nothing to her, but then slowly, day by day, she begins to piece together the real story of her childhood. But with every mystery she solves, another one materializes. With every question she answers, another appears. And Melody begins to wonder if she will ever know the truth about her past. So that sounds quite interesting. And considering it's like less than 50p, so I also picked up Nora Roberts, Catching Snowflakes. This is actually two books in one. It's a bind up of two Nora Roberts books, um, Local Hero and A Will in a Way. So yeah, I mean, basically they're nice Christmas cozy ones. Uh, writer Mitch had never seen himself as a hero, but for the night right woman he could be, and Snow Falls, he finds himself drawn to Hester, a single mum who has moved in upstairs with her son before the snow melts. Mitch has a plan to win Hester over and become a part of the family, so that's a local hero. And a will in a way says, sharing her beloved Uncle Former's home with Michael for six months was going to be hard for her strong Pandora. They'd known each other since childhood and never got along. However, in spending Christmas together, they discover they have more in <coughs> excuse me, common than they'd ever known. <coughs> so, some nice Christmas reads there. I should probably leave those to December. Again, this one I think was from the Doctor's Surgery, How Not to Shop by Carmen Reed. 
Personal shopper Annie Valentine is about to hit the big time presenting a glamorous TV makeover series. So, but too late, Annie discovers this is TV on a shoestring and they're paying her buttons and her budget is zip. Can she make do with Primark when all she wants is Prada? So, yeah, that sounds interesting. Nice little chiclet novel, I suppose you would call it. Then, this one that is in good condition. I do try and pick them up in good condition. This was from the second-hand charity store Tesco. This is Walls by Jeffrey Ryman, which is inspired by The Wizard of Oz. So, basically... Orphan as a girl in the 1870s, Dorothy goes to live in Kansas with her auntie Emma and Uncle Henry. They face drought and poverty. They face each other alone, abused. Dorothy makes an itinerant actor called Frank and inspires a masterpiece. So, and it also, there's like three. So there's Dorothy as a Kansas girl in the, in the 1870s and 80s. There's a, a, one on the making of The Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland. And then uh, there's uh, a fictional character named Jonathan who's obsessed with Oz history and is dying of AIDS. So uh, that's fascinating. If I enjoy it, I will try and pick up a better condition copy, but I thought, yeah, why not? It's, it's Oz related. I love anything to do with Wizard of Oz. Uh, one I've seen um, going around booktube is Jeanette Winston's The Stone Gods. I picked this up from Tesco for like 50p. You all know what it's about. I don't need to tell you, but uh, I thought I'd pick it up. Why not? And then I also picked up The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Howard Fry, Harold Fly by Rachel Joyce, because again, I've heard so much about this on booktube. Jen Campbell's mentioned it several times. So it, it's something I wanted to pick up and read. So when I saw it in Tesco, why not? Thought I've got to have it. And another one, again, I picked up in Tesco was The Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Niffinger. Never read this, never seen the film, want to give it a go. And I might do this as one of my uh, book versus the film posts I'm going to start doing pretty soon. I'm hoping to start that in November. Um, I might have to wait till I finish with my show because that's on next month. So, But it's definitely in the works. So I thought, pick this up. I can get a copy of the film and I can watch both. You know, I can do the comparison thing. I picked up two books by Rebecca Chance. If you watched September's book haul, you'll see I, I picked one up there called... Something I can't remember what it's called. What was the one I picked up last time? It wasn't Bad Girls. Bad Angels. And so this time I picked up Bad Brides and Divas. And again, it's because I picked up the other one. I haven't read any of them yet, but I do love the shoes on the cover. I am such a girly girl sometimes. <laughs> I do love the shoes. So I thought I'd pick those two up and put them in the pile and just give them a chance when I fancy something a bit light-hearted and a bit more fun. My battery's going so I'm going to have to speed this up very very quickly. Um, this one was given to me by a friend, The Gift of Darkness by VM and Giambanco. Um, so this is about a girl who has visions. I think it's a bit of a thriller and I can't wait. So like, I'm really speeding through these now because I've noticed the battery's going. Again, I picked this one up cheap in supermarket, The Hide by, oh, Hide by Lisa Gardner. You don't really want him to find you. It actually sounds quite scary. I haven't really read the inside flap. It was a case that haunts Bobby Dodge to this day, one that nearly killed him and changed life forever. Now in an underground chamber in the grounds of an abandoned mental hospital, the gruesome discovery of six mummified corpses resurrects his worst nightmare, the return of the killer he thought dead and buried. <sighs> Yes, that one sounds absolutely brilliant, I'm not going to lie. Now, the next book you've already seen, it was in my monthly subscription box, Book and a Brew, and that's Raw Blood by Katrina Ward. I'm not going to tell you about that because if you want to, you can go and watch the unboxing, which I'll link below. I bought a book specifically for the non-fiction November. I've had this book, my eye on this book, since April when it came out, and that is The Romanovs. 1613 to 1918 by Simon Sebag and Montefiore and it's a history of the Romanov family um, obviously we all know about Tsar Alexander, uh, Alexander and his wife and Nicholas and Anastasia and all the others and I thought I wanted to read something a bit more this book is gorgeous it's massive and I thought it's gonna be perfect for non-fiction November so I can't wait to dive into this now, the last two books were sent to me free by publishers um, in exchange for an honest and fair review. The first one is from the History Press and that's Carol Lombard 20th Century Star by Michelle Morgan. I'm not going to go into this because I am going to be posting a review video of this or I already have. I don't know yet. It depends which order I put everything in. So that's that one. And the last book I got this month 
was from Head of Seuss Publishing, so thank you very much Head of Seuss. And this is called The Eye of the Beholder by Laura J. Snyder. Um, and it, it's subtitles Johann Vermeer, Antonio van Luchenhoek and the Reinvention of Seeing. And it says, on a summer day in 1674, the Dutch city of Delft, Antonio van Vermeer, a cloth salesman, local bureaucrat and self sought natural philosopher, gazed through a tiny lens and discovered an astonishing world of microscopic life. In a nearby attic, the painter Johann Vermeer was using another optical device, a camera obscura, to experiment with light and create the most luminous pictures that anyone had ever seen. So this sounds absolutely fascinating. Um, I can't wait to get into this. The paperback is due out on the 1st of December, so I will be reading and reviewing it before then. I'm going to tag this hopefully onto the end of non-fiction November. So once I've read the books I've already said I'm going to, this is the next one on my list. So, those are all the books I've got in October. Uh, how many did you get? I mean, I must admit, I buy far too many books and a lot of them are cheap. So I sort of pick them up when I see them because I might not, they might not be there next time I go. Um, but yeah, I've bought over 30 books again this month. In fact, I think it's like 33 with the ones I bought at Hay and Y. Fortunately or unfortunately, I will be slowing down in my book buying in the next couple of months because Christmas is on the way, so I've got to buy presents for the family. Excuse me, I'm just tapping the battery I'm out. A naughty girl. Um, yeah, so Christmas is on the way, so while I will be buying books, they probably won't be for me which is a shame. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, there may be a mini haul somewhere in November, if I buy anything, I'll be still looking in the, the charity shops and the doctor surgery and Tesco and things like that. But there are a few books I want. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm I'm already watching all of your hauls. So if you've bought anything, if you've done a good haul, let me know in the comments below so I can go over and watch it because I love hauls. They're one of my favourite things on booktube, I'm not going to lie. And um, yeah, I will see you soon in the next few days. Um, if you like this video, obviously, give it a thumbs up, share, comment. Please comment if you've read any of these books and they're good. Let me know. Have you read was? Let me know. I want to know what you think. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.